All right, hello everybody. I am Gymnast86, and the day that we can skip the barrier has finally come to pass. That's right. We can now get past this stupid wall that's blocking us from getting early access to Ganon's tower. Uh, basically, the barrier, the big giant cylinder around Hyrule Castle in the Wind Waker, uh, it's the only thing that prevents us from trying to get to Ganon's tower early. And... Today, April 10th, 2017, a consistent setup has finally been discovered for Barrier Skip. Alright, so there are two parts to the barrier. The first part is this visible part right here. This is the knockback barrier. Basically, if you touch this, uh, Link gets knocked back. And so we have to cancel this from happening. And the way that you have to do this is you have to first get knocked back once, and then you have to go back in and attempt to pull out the Wind Waker on the very last frame. Um, of Link's flashing animation, just like this. If you do it correctly, uh, Link won't be flashing when he pulls out the Wind Waker, and um, you'll get like the little oscillation from the barrier where you pulled out the Wind Waker. All right, so now you're past the damage barrier. That was the easy part. Uh, that's been known about for years. Like, that's not new at all. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, the way I do this is I get into this corner right here as much as I can between over here. And uh, for this trick, you're going to want to have to turn off Gyro, because Gyro is going to completely screw up this trick for you if you try to do it with Gyro. It's not going to work. Uh, and that's because um, the very precise part of this trick is the angle that Link has. Uh, Link needs to have an angle between 48,307 and 48,319 for this to work. At least that's the range that I was able to calculate from doing this over and over again at various angles. It could be a little bit more than that, maybe. Uh, I wasn't able to get too specific with uh, the angles because I don't have a way of manually inputting angles, but I know that these angles that I'm showing right here and this in this range are confirmed to work because I have done them. All right, so anyway, I have like my uh, dynamic angle up on bottom left here for us to see. All right, so for this lineup, uh, you're gonna want to go into first person. I, you know, you're gonna want to tilt the uh, camera all the way up so that it can't go up any higher, and then you're gonna want to inch uh, left or right with the control stick. I, when I do this, I sort of inch uh, like down and slightly left or down and slightly right to try and change my angle uh, to be what it needs to be. All right, so now you can see my angle is 48,310. This angle will work if we were to do it, but obviously you're not allowed to use um, like in a data viewer while you're speedrunning the game. So visually right here, you'll notice that there's like the crest uh, of the Triforce in the top left of the screen right here. And on this crest, there are these sort of, like, bright pixels that are sticking out. And I can zoom in uh, to show you just one second. Oops. I will expand. There you go. All right, so you'll see that uh, on the top here, there's sort of this, like, bright yellowish line uh, that's going across the top of the screen right there. That's pretty much what I look for when I'm doing this. If I can see that yellow line just on the edge of the screen, uh, then I know that I'm most likely at an angle where barrier skip will work. I haven't been able to get this to work 100% consistently. There have been times where I've seen this yellow line or like uh, these set of bright pixels and it hasn't worked because, I mean, this trick is so precise, only having like a dozen angles out of 65,000 possible angles is a pretty slim margin, so I don't expect to be able to get this every time. But uh, that's currently what I look for when I line up uh, for barrier skip. And let's do full screen again. Bring it back out. All right. All right. So once you have an angle within the range that I described, uh, you're going to want to press B, and you're going to want to do an item slide forward by holding forward to start walking, pausing, and then holding ESS down. And then for this item slide, after you hold ESS down for around a second, you're going to want to tap forward for about a half second on the left control stick. 
Uh, what this does is this sets Link's speed from negative to positive. And what that does is when you hold L target um, out of the item slide, it'll push Link to the right instead of to the left. Because if Link's speed is negative, he goes to the left. But if it's positive, he goes to the right. Uh, the one exception to that is the hook shot, which is reversed. But if you're using the grapple hook bow um, or boomerang, you're going to want to hold forward for around a half second before you press L. And after you hold forward, you want to make sure that you completely release forward before you hold L. Alright, so forward, he says down, forward, L. Alright, so now Link is just kind of cruising along, and eventually, if your angle's right, you'll go through. You just uh, have to keep on holding L the whole time. Or no, I don't, actually I don't think holding L the entire time is required, it shouldn't be. But yeah, so once you have the right angle, and you've done your item slide, you've held forward for a half second, and then you hold L target to shoot to the right, uh, you'll just need to wait until Link slowly glides along the wall, until he hits around right here-ish. Uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, like right here, uh, on the other side of the barrier. And um, if your speed is high enough, and by high enough I mean that it has to be above 40 units, which is really easy to get. The speeds that you can get um, with item sliding are pretty high. Uh, but you need to make sure that the speed is also lower than uh, 6,000. If the speed is above 6,000, the clip will not work. So you need to be between 40 and 6,000. So, um, like if you have the... Uh, data view are able to look at, uh, you'll just want to make sure that you time your item slides so that um, you'll be able to stay within that range because you don't want to have to like overshoot the range and then wait in this corner for like 30 seconds while your speed slows down. But uh, yeah, so that's just a quick tutorial on how to do barrier skip in the Wind Waker HD. I hope this was helpful to some people as they might learn to speedrun this game, hopefully, because now this game is, at least in my opinion, it's a fantastic speed game now. Well, besides any percent, any percent is kind of stupid, but... Well, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so that's it from me. Um, once again, I hope this was helpful to anyone who was trying to do barrier skip, and I will see you guys next time on whatever else I post next. So, bye!